Hi, I'm Mike Hanley with Cars.com. The Mazda 6 has been a small player in the family sedan segment lately, but it's making another run with the redesigned 2014 version that should appeal to more car shoppers with its higher MPG that's really near the top of the class. With this redesign for 2014, the Mazda 6 adopts an all-new look and it drew praise from our editors. First of all, it gets a new interpretation of Mazda's grille. It's more of a shield design than we've seen on some other recent models. It's a little tamer, a little more subtle than some of other designs, but it works to good effect on this car. It really gives it a distinctive road presence. And around back, they've really spent a lot of time giving it quite an intricate tail design with a nice trunk lid, some nice wraparound taillights. It's a really luxurious look overall for this car. The new Mazda 6 is the second Mazda vehicle to get the automaker's full suite of Skyactiv technologies, which is Mazda's term for its fuel saving technology. And it works to good effect in this car. The version with the automatic transmission is raised at 26 miles per gallon in the city and 38 on the highway, which is near the top of the midsize family sedan class. Now, it also offers a manual transmission, which lowers fuel economy slightly, but it's nice to see they offer it as manuals are disappearing from this segment. What I like about the Mazda 6's setup is that even though you get the good fuel economy, it doesn't sacrifice drivability. Even with the four-cylinder engine, the Mazda 6 accelerates well, and the transmission's responsive, so you're not giving that payback that you do in some cars. The thing I like about the Mazda 6 interior is that its control layout is very simple and easy to understand. That's not always a given today with modern family sedans that are trying to pack more and more technology into touchscreen interfaces. Materials quality is also pretty good overall, especially the simulated metal, which does a convincing job looking like the real thing. The thing that's not as well executed is the available TomTom -tom navigation system, which is a built-in unit but uses the TomTom -tom technology. And the screen for a modern navigation system is pretty small. It measures just 5.8 inches when screens are getting quite large, though it does have one useful feature if you live somewhere that has red light cameras or speed cameras because the system can warn you when you're approaching one, which is a very handy thing to have. Despite the sleek roof line, the Mazda 6 offers good backseat space. It's one of the roomier ones in the segment. It's also pretty comfortable thanks to a seat cushion that's tall enough to give you good thigh support. There's 14.8 cubic feet of cargo space in the Mazda 6, and it's a nice setup in terms of the layout. Uh, it's nice that these trunk hinges kind of go into these recesses. It's not going to crush any of your cargo. The car comes with a standard 60-40 split folding back seat that can expand the utility of the car, and those release levers are located right here in the trunk. The Mazda 6 has never really registered with car shoppers in the way that the Honda Accord and Toyota Camry have, but now with its improved fuel economy, I think it has a real chance of drawing those buyers in. It's definitely worth a test drive if you're looking at this segment.